experiment like uh, Barack Obama did in college, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Whoa! So, oh, oh! Hey, you know the the best part, Ryan? What? I'm recording now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Caught that hey. whole whole Barrio college I bring up. Okay. Well. Welcome to the party boat. <laughs> Welcome to the park. This is this is the first video, maybe of many, maybe never released to the public eye, because Barrio had it shut down after the allegations about his college life. Stellaris, we're playing Stellaris, <laughs> and I've got my pal Ryan here watching me. and playing viscariously through Skype screen sharing, and we're gonna create a new game. And see how this goes, with him observing, and me at the wheel. So it's a new game. And you know, I think this would be even funnier if I if I were at the wheel, because I <laughs> I don't even know how to play this game. <laughs> oh, well, I'm a I'm a 30 hour seasoned veteran pro at this point, so we're good to go. So as you can see, we're presented right away with the uh, the United Nations of Earth as a race to pick, but we don't want that. You wanna... Hmm. Look, this is like a... I'm thinking of an actor, but I don't know her name, who looks like this. Do you know who uh, I'm talking about? Like this... this uh, mam mammalian lady? This nomadic mammalian. She's... she's a million. Um... I don't... I don't really know who that... She looks kind of generic. She's kind of like generic Kira Knightley. Maybe that's why she looks like someone. He is just so generic. Okay, we're gonna create new. We're gonna create new empire. Okay, select. Oh, here's generic uh, mammalian nomad, right here. Oh wait, no, she looks um. Uh... Hold on, she looked, uh, she looked like Kira Knightley, I think, because it's lower quality quality for me. It was already a small picture. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna figure out who it looks like while you're working on this. After... Well, we're not gonna keep her because we wanna. Well, hold on, hold on, that. hold on, hold on. I gotta do some some searching here, real like, quick because this is definitely a familiar face. Quickly go on Google. Yeah. And search yeah. up um, like Karen Nightman. <laughs> Karen Nightman. Wait hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, that looks like Ronda Rousey. Oh, the MMA nice. fighter. That's or, who it is. The UFC or whatever. So that, that that she looks just like Ronda Rousey. The Ronda Rousey right. race. Or we can uh, <laughs> we can switch it up. With all these different options. Whoa. Yeah, look at all these. Whoa. Oh, wait, there's, there's Whoa. the fungoids. Did you see that? Look at that. <laughs> it's like the, uh, like the, the things from, from XCOM that run up and violate your corpses. I don't think I ever made that, uh, made it that far. Oh, you didn't? You didn't make it up to the, oh, chrysalids. They, like, come up and and stab you and then like impregnate you through the throat with eggs that hatch out and turn you into zombies. It's pretty awful actually. No, I don't think I made it that far because my good people died and I was like, well I can't do my storyline in well, my head anymore. Ryan, if, <laughs> like, if you didn't make it that far, they probably weren't very good people. <laughs> the wasp people. So what do you, what do you think it would be good? We, we haven't, we haven't looked at the fungoids yet. Oh, I want to look at him. We didn't look at the mollusks either. Oh, look at this guy. An actual I like the guy fisherman. to the left of him. That guy. I like that guy. Yeah. yeah. We might we might pick him. We got to take a look at the fungoids. So. Oh look. Ew. It's our it's our old friends. <laughs> oh boy. With the with the 1800s pop collar. And then uh. Well, here's a Pokemon. Of some nature. <laughs> here's uh, here's Mega Mind. <laughs> with with hair, it's a female apparently. This is Mega Mind's mom. <laughs> why is it specifically a female? I don't know why it says female. <laughs> this is uh also a female. Oh, these are all females. They're really. What do the do the males look different? Cause like the male humans know. look different. Well. Oh, look at that thing. Whoa. That thing's awesome. He's got <laughs> That's cool. Tentacles and stuff. Great. Here, oh, can you see this? See this turtle man? I can. 
What do you think of that? Oh, that's nice. And then there's that. I like the guy with the great hair. Oh, that's Goku. <laughs> Super the Saiyan Go Goku. The Goku race. I don't know. This is like the coming no one. Like, I like when you look at you, you just pull it up. You're just like, I don't know, and you just went past it. You were just guy. done with that one. This guy's kind of cool. Cause... And then uh, they're the bird, bird people. Oh, I never showed you the space parrots in the last playthrough, but they look like this. Oh, <laughs> they got little helmets. I like that. I do too. These are the space turkeys. The ugly butt face space vultures. Uh, oh, here are the arthropod coids. Oh, so these are the ones that are most disgusting and look the most like giant insects. Yeah, pretty much. Look at this one. He's got like acid in his throat. I'm sorry, sir. You mean she? Oh, That's she. That's a female. <laughs> look, there's a skull on the planet. I just noticed. Looks like a skull. Ooh. Maybe. Well, that's our planet, all right. That's our world. And then there's the, uh, the molluscoids. <laughs> oh, look, look at her nose. It looks like a blobfish. <laughs> that, we, we're doing it. This has to be it. No. It has, it's to, really it ugly. has to be. That's why it's good. <laughs> look at that thing. Don't you want to see that thing rule the galaxy? <laughs> okay. Well, the blobfish. <laughs> what are we going to call this? Oh, we can make it. We can see the mail. Oh, wait. <laughs> we can see the mail. Nothing changes. <laughs> it's the same. Oh, we can change the. Just, it looks more stern, but it's Whoa. not actually. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, we can change this the color. This is cool. Oh, I like that one. That's the most distinguished looking. Do you want to go with that? I, I do. We can't. Wait, here's... We oh. can't change these because it doesn't have hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of no. He has a face. He looks like yeah. someone, much like Ronda Rousey. The other person Ronda looks like Rousey. someone. Who does this look like? Who, who's um, who's a famous person that you know of with a big nose and a big mouth? Oh man, that's that's a hard one. If you look uh, at his face, this is pretty much a normal face of a very large man. Minus the fact, like up to the nose and the tiny eyes. That's true. That's true. The art, the paradox art people were starting to draw a man, and then they just, hey, we're working on a space game now. Okay. They just started changing it from there. Uh, what is this? This like, is like they, they were drawing up the next guy for like a completely unrelated game. Like, well, don't worry, we have assets we can use. Just this, move the eyes to the side. This is a portrait. For Crusader Kings 3. That was the, one of the Crusader Kings. Specifically. He is the, the, he is the Crusader the female. King. The cru Crusader King. The Crusader Queen. Okay, so what are we gonna call this guy? Oh. Uh, let's, let's see what the random names look like. Yoshi, let's see a couple. I like, I like that. <laughs> Maybe he's Japanese. Hiroshi Maybe Murakami. he's still Japanese. He's Spanish. Manuel Quesada. Quesada. Salvatore Bello. Oh, we can get a Russian one. Wait. <laughs> Salvador Bello gave me an idea. What do you think about Bello Bello? That's good. <laughs> I like it. The great Bello Bello. Oh, yeah. Bello uh, Bello. Traits. Traits for the Bello Bello. Oh, what are the Bello Bello like? What are they? What are you like, I mean, Bello judge, Bello? Or the judging Bello? by his face, I think, I think they're very, they're very. What what's what's the what's the closest to rude you have trait wise? Repugnant. They're very repugnant. Other species happiness minus one percent. No one likes them because they're really ugly. That that's perfect for them. Okay, they they're repugnant. I don't know though. Have you seen that chiseled nose and? Ma masculine, muscular chin and massive mouth. That's true. Is there like an opposite? Let's do charismatic also for like the opposite. Oh, we can't. Can I do that? No, Aww. we can't because it's the opposite of repugnant. Wait, 
Do you want to get rid of Repugnant and just choose Charismatic, actually? Yes, Wait, uh, let's make this like the biggest charmer in the galaxy, right? Oh. <laughs> just dashing in. Oh. We can do uh, charismatic. The char oh, yeah. oh wait, we have we have points to spend. I didn't even look at that. Okay, we have uh, we can pick three traits. We have one trait point. Oh, and getting the negative traits gives us points to work with. Okay, are these uh, rapid breeders? Are they going at it all the time? Well, I mean, look at his face. Of course he is. <laughs> he can't help it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we have no points left to spend there. We can pick up. All right. Well, traits. I think we can say he's a slow learner. I mean, because he does he doesn't look the the smartest. That means the leaders gain experience twenty five percent less quickly, which isn't great actually. That's a big hit. But hey, that's actually he's pretty, got that charisma. Pretty he's severe. got all that charisma though. But uh, what do you think about what uh, what else would you say describes this? This charming bello bello male. Hmm. Is he thrif thrifty? Industrious. Oh he might he might be kinda of thrifty. Are they natural engineers, physicists, and or sociologists? Are they adaptive? Extremely uh -huh. adaptive. Non adaptive. Talented. First prize in the fair. Very strong. <laughs> or just strong. Weak. Strong. Nomadic. Nomadic. Sedentary. Um, communal. They like to sit around and sing kumbaya. Uh, solitary creatures. Conformists. Does this look like the face of a conformist to you? I don't think. Of course not. Enduring. Leader lifespan They're... plus 30 years. They are. They are very enduring Holy crap, people. crap, venerable. Look at his, L look at plus his nose. Plus 120 years. I think, I think enduring describes them better based on the enduring. nose. Enduring. So, so their leaders are, are slow learners. They're late bloomers. But they, they have the time to make it. And they're constantly making new leaders all the time with their amazing beguiling charm and rapid produce of new babies. Oh. Ship prefixes. Sweet. Okay, what are, we, what are like the HMS, the USS? What are we gonna call our ship names? Uh. Um. The. The SAD. BBS. Because <laughs> he looks really sad. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of like that. The Bello Bello ships. <laughs> I kind of like that one. Bello Bello ships. Okay, what kind of ships are we gonna do? We can do. Oh, it doesn't actually show us. That's a bit annoying. Oh. I wish it did that. But this game is still, I think, early access. Uh, fleet names. Art of, I don't know what we should do here. Do you want to spin to win? Let's do Avian 2. Avian 2? Yep. That sounds like my kind of pick right there. Avian 2. Okay. <laughs> name. Oh, we didn't name them. We gotta name them. Oh, okay. right. These are the fellow fellows. <laughs> yep. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. See, it's bello bello, and then plural is bello bellows, right? The, no, they're, he's, oh, no, he's, they are the bello bello, and this man is also bello bello. So then what's the plural mean? Bello bello. <laughs> Dude, just put bello bello again? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that one's capitalized, though. Adjective. Uh. Sexy. <laughs> um. Handsome. We're the handsome Bello Bello. You're darn right. Adjective. <laughs> Generate adjective. Bello Bello. <laughs> it won't let me do anything else either. <laughs> I don't be a cundin. Oh, not, you ruined it. Bello. Bello, bello. <laughs> bello. Bello. You you should make like one subtle change to the plural one that we'll forget about. So when they're referred to in the plural sense, it'll, it'll make us laugh. <laughs> I like it. 
Okay, that's a really good idea. I think we've been going out of order, actually. But, ruler. Oh well. Our ruler is Bello Bello. Our home world is, uh, of course, Bello. Bello. Star name? Bello. Uh, big. Oh, Big Bello. Yellow. <laughs> Bello. <laughs> okay. Where does this guy? Where does this guy live? Is he from a tropical uh, world? A world of many continents? An ocean world? An Arctic world? A tundra world? An arid world? Or a desert world? What kind of? I think. I think an ocean live? world. He, lives he looks ocean. like he comes from the ocean to me. He's, he's constantly on the beach. <laughs> he, 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 he just babes. flops up on the beach like a, like a seal to do business. <laughs> He's kind of like a weird morph version. Like he's sniffing. He's sniffing. He's like a weird morph version of a seal. <laughs> okay, randomized solar He's like, what's layout. that smell? Is that me? <laughs> oh wait, we can actually pick a system. I don't want to do that. We're going to randomize that. City appearance. Perth. Oh. What kind of city? We want a fungoid city where the buildings all have eyes and everyone knows your name. A reptilian city that looks like it's made of plastic. An avian city with lots of dainty skylines. A muscaloid city. No, we're not Ooh. doing that. That's like, that kind of gross. That's like whipped cream. That's <laughs> really old. Ooh. The let's let's, let's city. do the old standard arthropoid city since we're an arthropoid. Makes sense. He's a conventional Bello Bello. He lives in an arthropod city. Oh, by oh government, here we go. Government ethics. We have three ethics points to spend. Are we a uh, despotic empire? We can. Mm -hmm. We can get. So we're just an absolute autocracy really warlike I suppose a plutocratic oligarchy this is sort of like the middle ground I suppose I guess like a, a ruling council runs everything an indirect democracy citizens vote is he a, a democratic fellow bellow 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 no I, th I think it's like a middle ground oligarchy situation I think that's best for the council bellow bellows. of bellow bellow Okay, so I think that's good. We get a ton of energy. We get bonuses to our energy credits and minerals, and elections are held every forty to fifty years. That's quite a long time, actually. That's a very long time. Our that sounds great, though. Our rulers, <laughs> Bello Bellows, are going to be dropping like flies before we get a new one voted in. Well, that's not true, though, because we they are they they are enduring. Oh, they are. Okay, so are they uh, are they pacifists? No are way. they materialists? Yes. Individualists? Xenophobes? No. Militarists? Spiritualist? Collectivist? Okay, well they're, definitely, they're definitely spiritualistic. Oh, look at that! He's like in a monastery. That's nice! Now. A monastic bello bello. Oof. A, uh, a he's, a, he's also, uh... What was the what was the what was the one after collectivist? Uh, we'll keep going, keep going all the way around. That means they like slavery. Xenophile. Uh, like... well, hold on, actually, no, I yeah, let's, let's, let's go ahead and make him collectivist for sure. <laughs> oh, now there are bars at the monastery. <laughs> Bello Bellows can't fit out. So uh, what's the, what's the one with like the gears? That's oh, it was uh material. Yeah, they're materialistic too. I think that's good for them. Oh wait. I don't think they can be... Okay, they can't be spiritualists because that's the opposite of materialists. Oh. Well, let's go for spiritualists then. I think that's better. A spiritualist and then, uh... If they're materialists, yeah. they get bonuses to research. And if they're spiritualists, they get bonuses to happiness. Because they want to be happy, of course. Happy Bella Bellos. Happy. Look at him! Look how happy he is! Look at his smile! Oh, look, we get, like, uh, other modifiers based on Ooh. being religious. So we can, uh, we can build a tomb monum monument. Monument. We can, uh, build a theocratic oligarchy, in which our leaders cost uh -huh. less. That's kind of crappy, actually. 
gotta be said. Yes. Do we like aliens? The, yeah. Do Bella love Bella's like it? We love them. Okay, well, that's it. We're. Oh, wait. Whoa. Oh, xenophile. I thought that's a xenophobe. No, xenophobes, we hate aliens. Xenophiles, oh. we love them. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought so we, I thought you were saying you're xenophobes. So we're very spiritualist. We love to meet new aliens and so promptly outgoing. enslave them. Because we're outgoing and handsome. <laughs> very outgoing. Uh, Bello -bello. Empire name. Bello. <laughs> Bellum. Oh. <laughs> Bello Belland. United Bello Bello Coalition. <laughs> Adjective Bello Bello. I like it. Bello. Bello. Bum. Bello Bello. I like that. Bello Bello. <laughs> it's got the it's got the little little boss tree in there. Yeah, I like it's it. Kind of plural. Um, what what kind of empire are we? We uh so we're um we're gonna be atheist state. <laughs> we're really are we really like um Spirit what am I looking for? Are we really We're so spiritualistic we aren't. Um the Bello Bello Um Communist state, no. What what is Bello Bello? Oh, about the Bello 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 state. Handsome state. We are handsome. We are cut print beautiful. We did it. Oh, I like that. The Bello Bello handsome state. I love it. I like that. Okay, what's our flag gonna be? Oh, go to pirate. Go to pirate immediately. What do we got? Oh, I like the like the weird like Cthulhu skull thing. Oh, That's what about like cool. the crown of thorns? Because we're so spiritualistic. Oh, yeah. Do you want to do that? Oh, I like that. Oh, the colors are cool, too, actually. Let's make the colors match his skin, actually, though. Let's oh, go with like, the idea. purple and pink so, thing. Like, black and secondary colors are pink? Go over to the, the purple of... No, 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 like the colors. The yeah. purple that's, like, uh, second from the end that? on the right. Wait. One more over. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll like the pink you had first, better. I just want to see what that one looks like on him. Yeah, that one's better. It. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see yeah. like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. What? It, how's this going to look? Like that? Like that. Oh, oh that's nice. I like that. Okay, that's cool. We, we got it. Okay. I did it. What this is great. So this is pretty important, actually. How do the Bello Bello like to fight? Do they like to shoot missiles at people? Do they like to just... Well, these are basically space bullets. They shoot right at him. They're heavy projectiles. Do they like to use lasers? Let's read these. Mass uh, it, it, Energy weapons is really calling out to me, I want to say. Okay, so I'll summarize these since I've played. Uh, projectile weapons, they're, they're not the greatest range, as it says, but they do have a really high rate of fire. You can get, like, auto cannons and stuff that just pulverize enemies and they just use those to pepper at enemy shields and break them down although and they're as they're also fairly cheap they're not that hard to get energy weapons uh, shields work against them but they chew right through armor as if it's oh. not there although from my experience uh, the other empires tend to use a lot of shields all the time and mm -hmm. missile weapons, they go through shields, I'm pretty sure, but they can be shot down if the enemy has point defense, which I found usually the empires don't do it. I think they change it based on what you have if you're fighting them, but if they do have it, they shoot them down fairly quickly. You know what? Let's do projectile weapons. Projectile? The Bello Bello? Like to fight with projectile? Weapons? Yeah, they just they just use basic guns. Okay, space guns. No, not even space guns. Oh, okay. This is also pretty. We can pick our mode of faster than light travel. We can use wormholes, which are based on, like, sort of having two warp conduits, 
at different points. But uh, we have to build space stations for the warping to happen through the wormhole travel. We can use warp travel, which it could happen from anywhere, like one station, one place to the next. But you have to reach the edge of star systems to do it, and there's like a cooldown of when you can do it. And then there's hyperspace, which you travel. On, I haven't actually used any of these but warp travel limited points to existing hyperlane networks so this I is like hyperspace travel hyperspace travel yeah okay oh our ship appearance I don't know <sighs> what that happened earlier but okay how do you think our ship should look like the mammal ships uh... the reptile ships the orca fin thing Avian ship. I like the molluscoid ship. It's pretty neat looking. It looks like it it would fit him. Like imagine him sitting in it. Oh, what about this though? That one is cool, but that one I oh, don't this know. This one had more style. One... It's, it's more handsome for a handsome below below. Man. True. Well, the, mo the most handsome one I think is probably the avian ship. If we want to go for most handsome. Well, that's too. That's sci -fi. a very handsome ship. That's too sci-fi. True. He's a modest. Well, with arthropod. He's a grandiose below below. Do you imagine a grandiose, handsome Bello Bello man writing this? All right, let's do it. Okay, so, so a plutocratic oligarchy that has a little council of rulers that votes every forty to fifty years. You're stuck with Donald Trump, forty to fifty years, and or Hillary Clinton, because I guess it's council. You get both of them, best of both worlds, but. It, uh, they love slavery. They love oh, yeah. aliens. They love to meet them and yeah. enslave them, and share their spiritualistic beliefs. And they can do it because they're charismatic, and there are a lot of them. Although they don't pick up on new things very quickly, but don't worry because they've got a long time to do it. And if all else fails, they'll come riding in on their model squad ships and peg away at you with their space guns after traveling through hyperspace from their homeworld of Bello Bello from the slave built monastery overlooking the ocean you know what I think we're ready to go Bello Bello handsome state saved successfully <laughs> got the apostrophe okay so uh, by choosing the size of a galaxy, this is going to ter determine pretty much how long the game's going to last. Like, if we pick huge, it's going to be a long game. If we pick large... What? Okay. Let's go... What you would you do for your other game? I think mine is, uh, small. Oh, that small? I think so. I don't think we should go any bigger than that, because that one was huge. It's already, like, 30 hours in progress, and it's still not done. It was pretty big. So, elliptical, or spiral... Or a ring. How do you think the galaxy should be shaped? Uh, elliptical. Uh, okay. AI empires. Uh, I think 11 is probably okay. 11 of them out there. I'm not going to mess with that. Advanced AI starts. As you can read here, uh, this, this is like AIs that start with an advantage. So it makes it a bit more challenging. Yeah, I think three is good. Okay, and, and uh, <laughs> we need to go hard, insane, or normal. Wait. We're going in. We're going insane. <laughs> going insane. We're going insane. Oh. With, with me, with me, right here by your side, you with the wheel and me oh. the co-pilot, we can handle insane. Well, it's no problem. I'm looking at it now, and there's normal, hard, and insane. So it's almost like they've sort of patronized the players and trick them into playing easy, which is actually normal. Wait, no, yeah, it, this is easy, I guess. So, well, we're dead. Allow, no, no, no. allow the FTL method, any, so that means we can use hyperspace, but somebody else doesn't have to. And this is, of course, is going to be Iron Man. Oh, we, yeah. we can't save. So okay. when we screw up, when we screw up, we it's gotta, over. We gotta live with it. I like this. Well, 
Here we go. 